Bula, uh, my name is uh, Setareki Lendua and uh, I'm from Fiji. I'm uh, the southern Lau, Paul uh, Hulanga. And um, I'm 22 years old. And probably the youngest son out of the family. And the project uh, of Pacific Voyages was about. Um, it was uh, really into marine awareness, like saving the ocean. And also the reviving of the traditional navigation. Uh, sailing with the traditional knowledge, using traditional methods. It was the, um, uh, we wanted to revive the, what our ancestors have, they have been doing for a thousand, thousand years ago. So, yeah, and now uh, we actually did good. Well, traditional navigation um, is uh, the navigate, uh, navigating using what's around you, uh, nature, um, using the stars, using the wind, using the wave, using the birds, uh, tree foods. Yeah, so at the moment in Fiji, there's uh, only three of us uh, knowing uh, traditional navigation from the uh, previous words. So what we are trying to do now, and I'm, I'm going back, we, we will try to establish um, a navigation uh, school, maybe in the university in Fiji, uh, so we can get uh, the young people to involve with the reviving of the traditional navigation. So now in Fiji, most of the young people are out in the street. Um, they uh, they just uh, don't bother about staying home, doing work, work at home. They just go out into the cities and hang around for the day. So nothing for them to do. So there was um, something we were trying to do to get more young people to involve with the sailing and traditional uh, navigation. The work of it, we were voyaging on. Uh, we're not using any fossil fuel to run the waka. Uh, it's all about the sail and using the wind to 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 run the boat. And uh, we also have a port where it's in a motor engine that powered by the solar. Mm. Where we we normally use uh, only when we come into the harbor. Um, into the talk. Uh, so, but we use um, LPG gas for cooking. Uh, so, and the boat uh, is an um, uh, uh, an old design, uh, Polynesian designs, uh, which is made out of uh, fiberglass and um, plywood. On the Baka, there are 16 crew all together, so the captain plus 15 crew. And uh, I was uh, the traditional navigator on uh, our Baka, and uh, also the chief uh, officer, which is second in command. I was the youngest out of all the crew on our boat, and um, the eldest was 60 over 60 years old, which is really a, a huge responsibility for me, uh, especially you know, you're the youngest on the boat. And uh, so, yeah, somehow I managed to step up to the duty. Uh, in the boat, uh, there's uh, 16 bunks, so there's one bunk for each crew. So uh, it's an open space, so. Uh, you know, somehow that we managed to to look after your uh, your, your cabin because it's just a small space for 16 crew. Mm. So we have to to keep uh, keep up uh, cleaning your bunk and keep the boat clean because it's it's in it's your home for two two years. 
uh, the space was was just perfect for one for one person. Uh, so in 16 crew are uh, living on the boat for two years. It's such a tiny space. Uh, we eat meat a lot every three to four four days when we left port. But when before we left port, we stock up our food provisioning. But after four days, it was just fish, 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 fish. How do you have to fish? Uh, we got our trolling line, so we used to troll uh, every day. Um, we used to caught three, two fish every day. And yeah, so it's a lot of fish. <laughs> We saw a huge plastic floating on the uh, on the surface. So we we turn around because we used to do uh, when we were selling every rubbish that we we can pick it up. We, we just pick it up and and dispose it uh, on the next boat. So we turn around and to pick the plastic up, and now uh, we saw this turtle. Half of the plastic was choking his mouth, and he was trying to to dive into the water too and uh, there was some air was in the plastic so the turtle can't dive it, uh, plastic into the water because uh, so I jumped into the water uh, in the ocean and grabbed the turtle and grabbed the plastic and, and brought it on board so we managed to pull out the plastic uh, from out of the turtle's throat and so we throw the turtle back into the sea. It was a huge turtle, and it was the turtle was gone, skinny because we've been eating the plastic for quite a long time. So we managed to save the turtle. The reason why I'm in Taiwan, uh, <laughs> I'm invited to a conference, and uh, it's about uh, our Tunisians uh, exchanging culture mm -hmm. and traditional navigation so if, uh, through my experience uh, about traditional navigation and um, Fijian culture this is something that's uh, really interesting uh, uh, to come in to learn new culture and exchanging culture and going back to Fiji and uh, telling the people of Fiji that you have learned new things and you've learned a new culture, which is something that I, I've been looking forward to.